friends today we are going to make a very simple recipe a weekend breakfast uh, in most of the Indian homes it's poha it's a quick one all you need is poha peanuts potatoes and onions and chilies if you have so in my household my kids don't like onions so I'm going to skip onions but onions taste very good um, so first we start with one and a half cup of poha I am going to wash these poha and keep it soaked for 15 minutes. So drain, drain your poha out and cook water two or three times so that it gets soaked nicely. Once you've done that, you let the poha sit there for 15 minutes. This is all you need to do. It looks nice and moist from each side. So while our poha is draining for 15 minutes, I'm going to turn on our gas and start the tarka. So for that, we need one green chili based on your spice level. And in the tarka, we need mustard seeds, oil, and if you have fennel seeds. So I'm going to put around two tablespoons of oil in my poha here and add one teaspoon of mustard seeds and let the mustard seeds uh, pop in. So now we're going to add one fourth teaspoon of hing. I can hear my popping going so I am going to get ready. I have some dried neem patta which I can just add to my tarka. It's not going to pop right now. Typically if it's fresh I put it with my vegetables so that it doesn't pop back at me. At this point I put my um, alu, potatoes. I put one small potato and one green chili because it just adds a little bit flavor so on one side of the pan i put my potatoes the other side i put my peanuts and we took one four teaspoon one fourth cup of peanuts here now just roast it in the open pan and in two minutes you can put some salt and let it uh, steam so we roasted our peanuts and uh, potatoes for two minutes. I'm going to add one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoon of fennel seeds here. Add turmeric powder and salt. So one teaspoon of turmeric powder right here. And we are going to add approximately Two teaspoon of salt but you can change your salt content based on your taste and at this point I'm going to turn our gas on low sin and going to close this pan so that my potatoes cook nicely so I'm going to check if our aloo is done our potatoes are done not quite so I'm going to let it cook for another three four minutes I cut my potatoes really small so they cook fast but I still feel it has a crunch so we want to get rid of the crunch it needs to be soft okay let's check if our potatoes are done yeah they are nice and soft at this point so I'm going to touch with my hand just to get the feel yep they crunch nicely in fact they don't crunch they smoosh nicely so at this point, let's just add our poha here. So at this point, if you also want to add some red chili powder to make it spicier, you can do that. We have a jirawan powder, which is from indoor that we add. So mix your poha nicely so your haldi color transforms into your poha as well. I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. You can add, replace it with jaggery. You can opt out not to do this. 
um, it just gives a sweet and sour taste and we're going to add one and a half to two tablespoon of lemon juice so you can alter the juice as sour as you want typically our family likes it a little more sour mix this and then let's cover it back and let the poha sit there for five minutes to nicely steam on low flame all right let's check our poha this seems like it's done it smells awesome I'm going to just mix it again one more time. You can garnish it with cilantro before you serve. I am also going to add one teaspoon of jeera one powder. So you can replace it with half teaspoon of red chili powder, half teaspoon of um, amchur powder. And we already put sugar so you don't need to add additional sugar here. serve it with like bujia or save or any namkeen you have at your home. Our poha is ready to be served.